Okay, so this video should probably be titled, I am never ever going to live this down. Ever. Sky Uni 1, 2, 3. So, back in the day, before I actually learned how to write, I wrote Doctor Who fanfiction. <sighs> I am already starting to lose any sense of dignity I had left. Doctor Who fan fiction. I scored, scoured, scoured, is that the word? Through um, my computer archives and I've turned up with some interesting fan fiction. <laughs> now let it be said that the chapters in this masterpiece <laughs> are about 180 words long. Okay, you probably don't know of my ridiculous crush on Captain Jack Harkness, but I have one. <sighs> Probably should just get into this. Chapter 1 I heard a thump, the sound of glass crashing downstairs. I thought, that won't be the local drunks. <laughs> it's 1.30am. Okay. I grabbed a sweatshirt and pulled it over my tall frame. Then I crept downstairs. Before you say anything, I wrote this when I was 12. I saw glass, then blood, then a face, a familiar face. One that lingered in my dreams. A face I never thought I'd see in a million years. The face of Captain Jack Harkness from Doctor Who. I thought, what? Doctor Who is fake. It's not real. It's made by the BBC, for heaven's sake. But this guy is still in trouble, so I need to go and help. <clears throat> I ran on the hallway and saw something that made me freeze. It was a Dalek. I had to stop it now, or I'd be killed. I grabbed a vase and ran towards it. Hey. Captain Jack obviously saw me and yelled, No! You can't! The Dalek saw that its eyes stalked towards me and said in a flat, emotional voice, Identify yourself. Well, I'm Sky Rose. <laughs> I live here, and what is a Dalek doing in my house? Oh, God. I said to the Dalek. Oh, yeah. Thanks, mate. <laughs> so sassy. I said to Captain Jack. The Dalek said, Intruder, intruder, exterminate. His blaster arm swung around, and boom! Was the last thing I heard. That's the end of chapter one. <laughs> chapter two. I woke up. Well, I was alive. That was a nice surprise. I struggled to sit up and thought that the Dalek was half blown up and Captain Jack was staring at me in bewildered amazement. What? He said. You can regenerate? I looked down at myself and saw that I had grown taller and thinner and had longer hair. Thrilling, 12 year old Emma. Looks like it, I said cheerfully. He said, the doctor is not going to like this. Oh yeah, and I better introduce myself. I am. I cut him off. Captain Jack Harkness, an ex-time agent. What? He said, how the hell do you know that? Gun. The. Come on, I'll show you. I said, and he followed me into my lounge where I had a laptop on my desk. I told him, look on Wikipedia, type in Captain Jack Harkness. He did, and exclaimed, how did they get so much information on me? I said, no idea. He said, well, we really have to go to the TARDIS now. The doctor is going to be so annoyed with me. He murmured to himself. Coordinates set for journey to TARDIS. Uh, Sky, grab onto the big watch. <laughs> I did, and we disappeared into a flash of light. Chapter 3. We appeared outside an old-fashioned police box in a deserted alleyway. He said with a big grin, come on in. Why is he happy? I followed him in slowly and appeared in a huge room with golden walls. Oh, I could have done this for police box. I saw the doctor, Rose, Martha and Donna all staring at me. Oh yes, Captain, you picked up another pretty girl. Rose said, I thought you were supposed to be getting that girl, Sky Rose. Ah, uh, Doctor, we have a problem. Captain Jack said. Um, Jesus Christ. 
What? I'm working here. Dr. Theoden and his gorgeous Scottish Scottish accent. Is the accent actually Scottish? I don't know. Where's the gun gone? <laughs> She's regenerated. That is Sky Rose. What? The Dr. Theoden. And the last thing I felt was the doctor lowering me and let me in. <laughs> but in where? I asked. Christ. Your mind. I relaxed and felt my life's memories flashing through me. I fell into a deep sleep and the last thing I felt was the doctor lowering me gently onto the floor of the TARDIS. I woke in a room shining with golden light. The doctor came bounding up the endless stairs toward me. Towards me. He said, he said, Yeah, you are a time lord, brackets, lady, question mark, and Gallifrey wants you to be supervised by me because you're too young to have your own TARDIS. I said, Really? He grinned and said, Yes, really, follow me, we're leaving in a few minutes. I did, and we ran down the endless staircase into the TARDIS control room. The TARDIS dematerialized off the planet Gallifrey, leaving no trace behind. Gallifrey just casually exists. I don't know where the rest of the story is. I know it went on to be so much weirder. Like, seriously, I still half the plot of the Doctor's Daughter and put myself in there. Jesus. I'm just one of the worst writers on the planet. No, I'm better now, kind of. Hope you liked the video. Fave, share, subscribe, like, do those things if you liked it. And there shall be more editions of failed fanfiction by Emma. Or whatever I call this monstrosity. See you guys. I said, really? He grinned and said, yes, really, follow me, we're leaving in a few minutes. I did, and we ran down the endless staircase into the TARDIS control room. The TARDIS dematerialized off the planet Gallifrey, leaving no trace behind. Gallifrey just casually exists. I don't know where the rest of the story is. I know it went on to be so much weirder. Like, seriously, I still half the plot of the Doctor's Daughter and put myself in there. Jesus. I'm just one of the worst writers on the planet. No, I'm better now, kind of. Hope you liked the video. Fave, share, subscribe, like, do those things if you liked it. And there shall be more editions of failed fanfiction by Emma. Or whatever I call this monstrosity. See you guys.